How's it going everyone and welcome to part one of the turbo kit installation. Now today we're doing a couple things. Number one, installing the ECU. Right here, this is the Mega Squirt Plug and Play 2. In order to do this, we need to install AM air fuel gauge, plus a temperature intake sensor, air intake temperature sensor. We need to install one of those. We're also gonna go ahead and install our dual gauge pod and our boost gauge. So, as you saw, there's lots of stuff to do. Let's just jump right into it and get started. Now we're gonna start off by putting the actual ECU into the car, taking out the old one, and then we will wire in everything to make it work. So let's start with that. Now the old ECU is in the footwell of the passenger side, passenger side footwell. It's pretty easy to get to, you just gotta take off a couple of trim pieces, pull back the carpet, and there you are. First thing we have to take off is this thingy. So. Go ahead and pull up this weather stripping. There we go. And this little side thing right here can pop right out. Now before we go any further, I want to say a huge shout out to the Car Passion channel, Greg. Uh, he's got awesome tutorials for all this stuff and that is how I'm doing everything. Just watching his videos, doing it myself. And just pull the carpet back. Next step is to get this plate off. Just a couple of 10 millimeter bolts. A little convincing. The plate is out. And there she is, the ECU. Take out this old guy. Got one out. And there we go. Now this little guy is supposed to go in something like so. However, I need to drill some holes and first get rid of the sound editing, because race car. Oh my goodness. Okay. This, my friends, is why you don't buy cheap drill bits. Alright guys, the Mega Square is bolted in and plugged in. Next step is to hook up the vacuum line to the intake manifold. Now this long vacuum line goes into the ECU and then can plug in either right here or right here. I'm going to be splicing it into right here just because it looks cleaner. Now normally you would be putting it through the hole right here, but I've got AC so that's in the way. So I'm actually going to make it go up and around or that way into the car, back down. Plenty, pretty long. Um, I just have to make sure it won't get cut or anything. This is a very important thing. No cutting. I'm just gonna cut that right down the middle. A little T here. Put one end on that side. The stock line went like that, and now I've got a T going to this vacuum hose. One of the best things about Mega Squirt is you don't need any of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work on unbolting all of it. thing never gonna need it again now in order to run without the airflow meter the car needs two things one a vacuum line that runs from here to the ECU number two an air intake temperature sensor now in order to put that in we have to take the, the, the penis tube off drill a hole in it tap it screw it in and then hook it up to the, uh, the, the thing over here so first step is to take this tire black thing off 
Look, I got it out. All right, so the intake tube is back on with the intake air temperature sensor. We got this little pigtail which goes into the end, right? Like, like that. And now I have to extend these two wires. <laughs> oh, I love this horn. The two wires have to extend to this and plug into the first and sixth prong. And that is what this is for. A little sketchy, but I think it will do the trick. I just have to combine the wires right there. It may not be the prettiest, but it works. And now I fold it over like this, and then I put shrink wrap over it and shrink wrap it. All right, so that is all wired up right there. Goes down, 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 and into right there. All right, guys, welcome back to day two of the ECU install. I already have the Mega Squirt in and everything that the Mega Squirt needs to run. However, we do need this. This is an AEM air fuel ratio along with a wide band. So we're gonna install this, hook it up into the ECU, tune the ECU, base map, and then we can start the car. So let's get started. These are the wires that come off the gauge for the wide band. We only need three of them. We need the black one for ground, we need the red one for 12 volt power, and we need the white one, just the plain white one, this is plain, yeah. Plain white one for wide band output. I have, to, I have to extend the black one and the white one so it reaches all the way into the engine bay. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so now I need to go to the other side, wire them through the hole. This one goes to the ground, which is right there. The other one goes to the O2 sensor. So the ground is done right there, and the O2 sensor wire is also done. This is it. As you can see, we splice into it, and it's going into the wall, well, the firewall, and it goes into the gauge on the A-pillar. So that's all done. The only thing we need to do is put the actual wideband in and wire up the 12 volt. All right, guys, the wideband is all wired up. We got that one red wire going up to the ignition, and then the other two going into the engine bay. All right, shut up, camera. My camera's being all noisy. Haven't plugged it in yet, but uh, it's okay. It is now time for the fun part. Loading the base map and maybe starting the car. Plug it in there. Screw it in. Now I'm gonna do my best to show you guys what I'm doing here. So, you wanna do create new project. Now I gotta go ahead and turn the key to the on position. Uh, it doesn't look like there's no, oh, my battery probably has it. Hey, do you mind putting me, do me a favor and plugging in the positive side of the battery? <laughs> and nice, you already got it out, that's good. All right, let's try that again. Oh, we got lights, that's good. And then we do detect on this. Yeah, all right, so to load the base map, you go file, open tune, that's in my downloads. Oh, of course, I don't have a downloads section. MM9093 Miata 331A. I'll put that in my documents. Click that. Click open. Would you like to send and burn configuration to controller? Yes. So now it has a base map. All right, so the car is ready to be timed and turned on. Didn't break, didn't break, didn't break. <laughs> it's all good. It sounded like it broke, but it didn't break. If I turbo, I might just run my nap. Thank you. Well, that was a pain, but we got it out. <sighs>
right, so the Mega Squirt is installed. Everything is working. As you can see, everything is put back together. It's all pretty. We got our boost gauge and air fuel uh, gauge over there. Currently, the car will start in idle and do nothing else. We have to go take it out and tune it roughly on the road. The program that comes with Megasort has this awesome feature where it pretty much just does the tuning itself. All you have to do is drive, so that is what we are going to use. I just wanna get it to the point where I can drive around town and once it's turboed, I can drive it to get professionally tuned. That's it, I'm not tuning the entire car myself. And hopefully it still starts up in idles. I don't really know if it will, but hopefully it does. <sighs> Yeah, the fuel pump, our gauges are going. Heating up the O2 sensor. Hey, it does idle. So our thing is still working. That was a little rough, but it wasn't actually that, that bad. All right, I'm taking that thing off. I can't, I can't stand it. <laughs> All right, I just need a log. So just first get on the throttle. It's definitely a little lean. It's gonna because and then it, and then it catches up with itself. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. Coils work. <laughs> there we are. All right, so that's lap one. Now go ahead and do data logging. Stop. Okay. <laughs> so pretty much we just went on a drive, and the the computer or the ECU or the program was while we were driving was correcting things. So you click stop auto tune, and then you do save on ECU. And since I didn't flip the throttle, it died, but. I really don't know that much about this. Um, Greg from the Car Passion Channel, like I said at the beginning, has been helping me through this entire thing. I was actually talking to him on the phone earlier. Huge shout out to Greg. Go check out his channel. He d totally deserves it. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna keep driving around and tuning. So this is pretty cool. This is really cool, actually. The car feels really good, so that's all. No, it good. definitely does not feel like it run it's running like total shit. So. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is it for today. We installed the Mega Squirt. We installed the wide band. Uh, we installed the boost gauge, uh, and everything works perfectly. I'm so happy. We've been tuning the car for about two hours now. It was having an issue where at cruising speed in like fifth gear it was lean, but we fixed that. It's all good now, it's drivable. It's not perfect, but it's drivable. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, thanks yeah. to everyone who helped. Uh, those guys over there didn't really help, but. Brody. But it's got some mega squirt in there, remember that. <laughs> Make her squirt. Brody did help a little bit, so thank you, Brody. I wanted um, to help more, but oh well. That's maybe for later. Yeah, I actually, I did most of the stuff myself, and I never really do all the stuff in my car myself, but I did, oh. and it works, so I'm really happy with it. Um, next week we are hopefully doing everything else, installing the entire thing. Uh, I don't know. We've got a lot to do. I mean, we've yeah. got literally everything: turbo, lines, intercooler, Injectors. injectors. Um, and then hopefully the week after that we'll get it tuned, but probably Maybe. not. We'll yeah. see. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Eastside Garage. Yeah. Eastside Garage. Eastside Garage. You <laughs> do that cup Garage. Oh no. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Joining a sweatshop.